You are listening to Vinyl History Radio, a production of VinylHistory.com. VinylHistory.com is a website that showcases obscure vinyl. We feature the good, the bad, the psychedelic, the strange, and the long-lost classics that should be heard again. This installment of Vinyl History Radio features the music of the Kinks from 1964 to 1971. And where have you been, my darling young one? It was early 1963, and if you remember nothing else about that year, there were two monumental events. The assassination of John F. Kennedy, at the very least, altered the course of U.S. policy in the 1960s, and we may still be feeling the unmeasurable ramifications of that tragedy today. And in music, of course, the Beatles. Nothing need be said about the Beatles. We all know that these four mop-headed lads changed the course of modern music. Their every living, waking moment has been documented and redocumented for posterity. Radio stations still do Beatles weekends. The effect of the Beatles will extend its powerful influence for the foreseeable future. However, literally on the heels of the Beatles came what might collectively be called the Liverpool Invasion. Radio stations wailed and magazine covers became filled with pictures of long-haired guitar-playing Englishmen as legions of adoring teeny boppers swooned and parents pondered the eternal question, what's happening with the younger generation? groups such as the Rolling Stones, later to become landmarks and a culture of their own. The Dave Clark Five, whose music was to later become a study in redundancy as they faded into oblivion. Peter and Gordon, Chad and Jeremy, the Animals and many others of varying talents and longevity. But one of the most uniquely talented and different groups was to add a new dimension to the music of the early 60s. Don't ever set me free I always wanna be by your side 
sound rhythm and blues approach garnered some well-deserved attention in the early months of 1964 when a record called You Really Got Me turned the heads of the music industry. That group was the Kinks. music in rapid succession. By 1965, when many of the English groups found themselves floundering in futility, the Kinks once again came up with the big record. Cause he gets up in the morning, and he goes to work at nine, and he comes back home at 5.30, gets the same train every time, cause his world is built on punctuality, it never fails. And he's all so good And he's all so fine And he's all so healthy In his body and his mind He's a well-respected man about town Doing the best thing so conservatively And his mother goes to meetings While his father pulls a maid And she stirs the tea with counsellors while discussing foreign trade And she passes looks as well as bills But every suave young man Cause he's all so good And he's all so fine And he's all so healthy In his body and his mind He's a well-respected man about town Doing the best thing so
face I made over you. This time, however, the group showed a different side. Evident here was an intellectuality never seen before. The song was a type of tongue-in-cheek look at the respectable citizen of the 60s. This was soon followed by a rather humorous look at the fashion-minded young Londoner of the day. They seek him here, they seek him there, his clothes are loud, but never square. It will make or break him, so he's got to buy the best, cause he's a dedicated follower of fashion. And when he does his little rounds round the boutiques, of London town Eagerly pursuing all the latest fads and trends Cause he's a dedicated follower of fashion Oh yes he is Oh yes he is Oh yes he is Oh yes he is He thinks he is a flower to be looked at And when he pulls his frilly nylon It's right to take she feels a dedicated follower of fashion. Oh yes he is, oh yes he is, oh yes he is, oh yes he is. There's one thing that he loves, and that is flattery. One week he's in polka dots, and next week he's in stripes, but he's a dedicated follower of fashion. We will be back with more of our radio documentary, The Music of the Kinks, 1964 to 1971. 